Get out of there! He's cut. Come on! Come on. This video is brought to you by The Buzzards Roost. And also guys, we've got the Meat Dog merch. Go check it out on my website, kirkprice.com. All kinds of new stuff on there. We got the blaze orange hats, we got the run stuff, everything. Go check it out. Let's get into the video. Good morning all you cool cats and kittens. Today is day two of December bear season. Me and Cole, just like normal, we're grinding son. We're here 30 minutes early. <laughs> got up at four this morning. You gotta love it. Yeah, yesterday was a grind. We struggled quite a bit. Ran a bunch of hogs on accident. And we finally, we prospered. We stayed with it. We grinded. We came out with a bear at the end. Today, Trace and Chad are gonna be back and Bucky is gonna make it out. So, we're gonna have a little extra help. Got my man, Mo Kitchell, behind the camera. And the hounds are loaded and ready to rock. So, let's go see if we can find a bear. And we're gonna, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit though and wait for the rest of the crew to show up. I look for that bear track. I knew that's about where you yeah. caught it, man. I look for that bear track. I see the big deer track. <laughs> no, there's a bear Did track. Did you see where, he, where he's talking about going, he saw a pile of bear in there in October, November. So there's food in there. There's beaches down real, real low, like where she killed her bear at down in there. Right. Well, we ain't gonna find them sitting here. All right, so Bucky's out front. Bucky said he's gonna get some dogs on the ground and do some walking. I may send a couple with him. I think me and Trace and Chad are gonna rig. Chad's gonna go one way, I think Trace and I are gonna go the other. See if we can't get on something right off the bat. Yesterday we struggled to find one early. It was just a pain. Today, hopefully things go a little bit smoother. Chad, you can see we're trying to fit feet down there. Trace and Bucky are going on through there. I'm gonna see if I can't get brother to take a couple dogs with him. See if we can't get him to free cast down this point right here. <laughs> Here you go, come on. Hey, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Here, let's go. Brother, Ding Ding, and Debo are hunting on through there. Brother hunts super hard. Like you can just free cast him and he'll go hunt. And I love that. Ding Ding seemed to have, seems to have that same genetic where he wants to go find some. We just gotta get him straightened out and make sure we're after the right target. <laughs> Something's gonna happen here. Is it Bucky? I think Cooper just opened up out here. He flipped back towards you all, I think, Kurt, but he swung down like from me here, but he opened up two or three times. Ten four. So Bucky's right here with the dogs. He's actually he actually has this dog, Nisi, which you can't see, but it's that black black pen right there. So uh, we got a lot going on right now. They're still opening. I mean they're but we'll see what happens here. I don't know, Trace. You think them dogs is on a different track? What is it? I can't hear you. Let me roll my window down. <laughs> my dogs were went above that track. And they, they didn't go. I mean, I went down this drain right here and they hit where Bucky went and just went out that ridge to him. Chad, you can hear me. They're crossing the center point at the blue building under the strip. Debo, Cooper, and brother, and Ding Ding. We got one going, baby. If they cross that, they'll cross the switchbacks. Hey, check this out. They're coming towards the switchbacks, aren't they? Yeah. Info, info. I'm starting down towards the switchbacks now. They're heading up the holler. They're not going to go to the switchbacks. They're heading up the holler where that pond dead ends up there. We need, they're, they're heading up. We need to go out that point. Come on. Come on, Ding. Come on, Ding. I don't know what's going on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, 
we got brother and Dean. They got messed up. And I'm not sure what in the world happened. Cooper is messed up down in here too. I think something went in a hole down there. Cooper ain't leaving. Are you tracking him? Yeah, he's down there in the state caught something down there. You can see where they've hunted around forever. Cooper's our oldest dog. He's probably six years old. And uh, staying in there and not leaving that spot. They hunted and hunted and hunted and hunted. And the rest of the dogs came up out of there. Most likely something's went in a hole right there. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Are you watching Cooper? No, I'm not. I'm uh, headed out here. What are you said? 10-4. He's moving and I'm getting mark indicators on him. Like that track got blown up right there. And they they messed up. So I, I think Cooper and Debo have the track. Bliss is coming. I just grabbed a biscuit. They separated. Oh, Bliss and Biscuit hurt. lost it. Come here, come here, come here. Let's get, come, come, come. Let's bet anything. This is the same bear we've been trailing the whole time. That Bucky started originally off that point. Keep rolling, I'm gonna grab the buggy. They're all over them. I'm gonna head towards the fish pond and they're gonna turn down. They got a cot. They just, they just, they're pulling in tree. Caught it on the downhill, which could mean, usually they catch them pulling uphill, but it could have treed right there. Let me take a rifle just in case. Man, that We're about 180 from them and they are roaring. It sounds like it's in a hole. You alright? Yep. Get out of there! Get out of here, Mumu! What dog is that? That's Cooper in there, Bucky. Sounds like Cooper deep in that hole. No, it ain't him. I hear one in there. Get out of there! Stay right there at the hole, Cole. I am. Still must stay in the hole. He's cut. Come on! Come on. Come on, get out of there! Baby! Baby! Come here, JJ. Dan's facing that way. See it? Yeah. You see it there? 
Yeah. Let me see. It's a tiny then. You can see it's paws right there. How big does it look like? Dude, you got the, the salty dog dirty. Cole, reach in there and look. Look at him. Right. So we can see the bear. He's just crammed up in there as far as he can get. I'm gonna get a picture of him. With his hind end sticking out and his head looking back that way. Normally they're looking at you. All right, so it doesn't look like the bear's gonna come out of the hole. So, uh, it's not one to come out. So, we're gonna get the dogs and take them back up to the truck. And let Mr. Bear live another day. Once he comes out, he's fair game, but if he, he, he doesn't come out on his own, we can't do anything. Dang. What are you doing? You got enough for today, son? Come on. Come on, get out of there, Dang. You gonna give the other dogs bad ideas? Come on. He's trying to get in there by food in the back so you don't know what he's doing. Come on, Dang, let's go. Good boy. Dings. He made it there to the hole. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for day two. It is noon, and uh, we've had a good day. We put the one in the hole and trailed. Did a lot of cold trailing and stuff, which is what you do this time of year in December. But it was good work for the dogs. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it a day. I got some work I got to go attend to. I think Cole, he needs some rest. He's, he's looking tired on me. We've had a good day, though. Uh, the rest of the guys are heading off. Going to get the dogs back to the house and fed. And then get back after it tomorrow. So day two went pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Don't forget, go to kirkprice.com. Get you some merch. Get you a chest harness. If you don't have one of these and you're a bear hunter, mm. I'm telling you right now, I designed this thing exactly how I wanted it and what, what I look for. I need another pouch right here. So I'm about to put another one on there for my Garmin. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this one. Until the next one.